Hi everyone, this is Cody with BridgeCom Systems, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add local repeaters to your new plug and play package. Uh, so now this is really easy to do, you just have to install the, the CPS, and we're going to program up a new zone so you can have all your local repeaters right in your radio. So if we go over here to the actual radio itself, uh, we can see right now the only zone in here is your DV Mega Zone. So we can change the channels on there, uh, but we can't. We don't have any of the repeaters, uh, and there's no way to really add them in. So we're going to jump over here to the computer. Now we do have to plug in the radio first. There we go. Make sure the radio is turned on and plugged in. And make sure you have the correct version of the, the CPS installed for your radio. So you just go to the communication port, select your radio, say OK. And now what we're going to do is read from the radio. And for this, you just need to read the other data. The digital contact list is in there. We don't need to mess with it for this purpose. OK, so uh, read data complete. So at this point, this is the, the code plug that actually came with your plug and play package. So if you want to make a backup of this, this is a fantastic time to do so. So just go up here to file and then you can do a save as and store it somewhere safe. That way if, if you make changes and were to uh, accidentally delete something, you can always go back to that original uh, code plug that came with your package. So from here on, what we're going to do is down here, we're going to add another channel. So this is under the channel section. Uh, double click on it. Now we're going to add a local repeater here, the local Clay County repeater. We'll just give it a name, then put in your receive and transmit frequencies. And then this is going to be an analog channel. Set the transmit power to high, 25k bandwidth. And then select the uh, CTCSS. Now you will be able to get all this information from, just look up whatever, whatever your local repeater is that you're trying to put in. Uh, just go to their website or contact whoever manages it and you can find out all this, all this information about it. So now that we have our repeater in here, just go ahead and say OK. Now it's going to show up here. Now what we're going to do is go over to the zone. Now you can add as many as you want here under this channel section. This is where all your different channels are going to go. So we'll go over to the zone. Now if we were to just upload the code plug to the radio at this point, you wouldn't actually be able to find that channel because it's not in a zone yet. So there's two options. We could put that new channel into the DV Mega Zone and you'd be able to scroll through the channels on there and it would show up. Or what we're going to do here is create a new zone. So just double click on the on the number two line below it. And I'm just going to title this one local. And that we can see our new W0TE repeater down here. Now I'm going to add that over. Then we can just say OK. Now all we have to do is go back to the COM port, make sure our radio is still connected up. Then we can write to radio. And like I said, we haven't messed with the digital contact list at all here, so we don't need to do anything with that. Just write the other data. So there we go, write data complete. So now over here on the radio, we can check it out. Wait for it to boot back up. There we go, so here's our DV Mega Zone. Now this is going to work just like normal, but now if we use the zone, selection we can go down to our local zone and we just have that one repeater in there right now but as you can see it's all set up and you can add in as many of these uh, repeaters as you'd like so that's it for now hopefully you got something useful out of this video if you liked the video give it a thumbs up share it with anyone else who might need this information uh, like us on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to hit that notification bell you don't want to miss out on any new content because we're uploading content all the time we want to help you guys as much as possible. This is Cody from BridgeCom Systems 7.3.